So y'all, I'm gonna be doing a mukbang even uh, yeah. reaction, but ooh. So I'm gonna be doing uh, a rich friend brags to a poor friend then lives to regret her decision. So this is what I have. I got a biscuit, chicken, and some fries from Popeye. So yeah. Ooh. She cut her off if she was still talking. Engaged! Oh, wow. Um, that's amazing. She well, really I'm off. really happy for you. Robert did so good, didn't he? I told him he didn't have to get me a rock this big, but you know, that man cannot be stopped. So how are things with you and Kevin? Kevin? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Kevin and I... Oh, wait, hold that thought. I I just have to tell you, I got a promotion at work. You are now looking at the senior vice president. Oh, that's great, Stacy. Um, I'm really happy that all these wonderful things are happening for you. <sighs> right? They told me that I am the youngest female ever to be promoted to senior vice president. <sighs> but enough about me. How are things at your job? My job? <sighs> Unfortunately. Can I get you ladies started with anything? Uh, I will have a Greek salad dressing on the side. Right. And you, ma'am? Um, I'm not hungry. Um, I'm okay, thank you. Okay, then. Uh, I will get that right out for you. Thank you. So, um, as I was saying... Uh, Barbara, you're not going to eat? You've got to stay fueled up. Our annual half marathon is coming up. We've never missed a year. You're still going to do it with me, right? Uh, our marathon. Oh. Yeah, I need me some water. I think this word. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to take this senior vice president duties. Hello. I need some honey. Your promotion, your engagement, and your health. 
I wish I had some good news to share too, but you see, I've been having a lot of health problems. I was bedridden, and I was missing out on a lot of work. So my boss called me one day and told me that I was fired. So my work isn't going so well. I kept on getting more and more sick. And because I've been so sick, it has caused a lot of stress on my marriage. So Kevin told me one day that he was leaving me. So my marriage has fallen apart. And then yesterday, I received a letter from the doctor. I found out the reason that I've been so sick is because I have cancer. It's in its final stages. So I'm sorry, Stacy. But I won't be able to run with you next month. trying to tell you all of this but you were so concerned about all of the great things happening in your life that you didn't seem to care that mine has fallen apart while oh, we cherish our times together love Barbara Sometimes people can get so excited about all of the great things going on in their life that they completely miss all of the bad things going on in someone else's life. Now it's okay to boast about a job promotion, but not to someone who's struggling financially. And it's okay to brag about a great new relationship, but not to someone whose relationship has just fallen apart and it's great to celebrate good health but not to someone who's going through major health issues. So we should always be empathetic towards someone's struggles before bragging to them about our own successes. Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? It's Dar. I hope you love that message. Now Bro. <clears throat> I feel like if she would have listened and stopped cutting her off, she would have known. But. She really just lost everything. But y'all, that's all I had to say for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Even my other one. Even. You don't know if. You asked her a question. Why you cut her off? Like. You, she should have. She could have told you all that. But. Yeah.